What's up guys, Gracian here. I'm going to show you the classes of Lotro, an MMORPG by Turbine. Hopefully this will get you started, help you choose a class for when you play the game. I hope you enjoy the game too, it's a pretty good game. First class is the Burglar. This is your Rogue, so he's got Evades, Stealth, Bleed, and Support Roll, Opening Fellowship Maneuvers in Groups. And I'm going to post a video later of what Fellowship Maneuvers are. Weapons, dual wield. His armor is medium, and he's played by man and hobbit race. If you've got questions about this class, post them in a comment. I'll answer them. Captain class, he's the jack of all traits, but mainly he's a buffer, a tank, and a healer. And he can do those roles very well. Uh, he, he cannot tank or main heal instances like the six people, but three man instances, amazing. It's perfect. Now, the captain does not have very good damage, I must warn you, so if you're not a fan of classes that have low damage, I would not recommend playing it, but if you if you don't mind, go with it. His weapons are two-handed weapons, or he can also go with a one-handed sword and a shield in his left hand. So, but the, the shield will be using for if you're... Some of them have good stats for healing. Some of them have good stats for tanking. People that want to go hardcore tanking will go with the uh, shield. But otherwise, if you want the your highest damage output, I'd go with a two-headed sword or axe or something like that. You've got heavy armor, so he's really tough. It's only played by a race of man, though. So it's quite restricted as far as that goes. He's also got a pet... You can have a soldier running around with you in the battlefield, or you can place down a banner. And both of these things do the same thing. They both do buffs. That's it. That's all they do is buffs. And except for the... Well, the Herald, your soldier does do a little bit of damage, but uh, they're both at the same role, basically. Your champion is your AoE damage. Uh, he's very high damage. Him and the Hunter are the top damage classes in the game at the moment. The Runekeeper might... Some people would argue and say the Runekeeper is tied with Hunter, but eh, not with the last update. All right, the champion wears heavy armor, and he's got he can have dual wield weapons, or he can have like a two-handed weapon. It's very good damage. He's a meat shield basically because they can tank too. These guys can tank. Now they can't main tank six-man instances or stuff like that, but they can tank pretty good. They've got an aggro skill for that. They're played by Man, Dwarf, and Elf. And honestly, I think they should add it as for Hobbit 2, just because of something that happened in the book, but I guess that's Turbine's business. Alright, the Guardian is the sword and board classic tank of the game. So he's basically, you know, just there to get threat and be a complete meat shield and this guardian is really really good okay the weapons he can choose from there's there's two stances in the game you can tank or you can go damage and the damage stance is actually similar to champion stance in that he can j he's just a heavy armor damage class but the guardian's damage is not as high it's still almost it's it's close it's close just single target instead of aoe okay the other when you're in damage stance, you gotta go with a two-handed weapon though. You can't really do shield. It's because it's called overpowered. It requires the two-handed weapon. Otherwise, your sword and board for your tanking roll. And you can put shield wall over people, protect them, make them not soak up so much damage. He's actually got a lot of useful skills for tanking. Very good tank. He's wearing heavy armor and he's played by man, dwarf, elf, and hobbit. So you got every single race there. That's pretty cool. Hunter. This is your ranged single target damage. I Unlike WoW, he doesn't have a pet. And I personally th honestly think they should add a pet in because of the induction part. It works kind of like a caster does, basically. Alright. This guy's got the best traveling skills in the game, though. 
This is why a lot of people recommend this class as the solo class, him and the warden. The hunter can port people, you know, he's like a taxi, kind of. He's got fast run, stuff like that. All right, his weapons are a bow and dual wield of weapons. His melee is not really that good. I mean, it's, it's decent, but mostly his main damage is coming from his bow. He's got medium armor. He's played by the man, the dwarf, the hobbit, and the elf. And most people go with elf because of Legolas, but it doesn't matter really what when you go. The lore master looks like a mage. Yes, I know. He looks so much like a mage. And people would think, oh, Gandalf, right? But wrong. It's actually based off of an elf. And he's mostly crowd control. He does do some damage, but he's a caster. So, like the hunter, he's a caster. And the lore master uh, is not only just crowd control, he's got a pet. So, he's got a pet, and the pet has high, high damage, some of the pets anyway. He's actually got the role-based pets. So, one pet is tank. Um... Another pet can be AoE damage or single target damage, and your single target damage pet is stealth. So, what you do in groups, mostly, you can heal your pet and your friends. It's not like a huge healing. He does something similar to the captain. They've improved it recently, so it's good. You can feed everyone power. People will mostly be using you as a battery in groups, and crowd control. So, that's the two things you mostly have to worry about. Giving people power and crowd control. Loremaster has a lot of AoE damage like the champion does except he's a caster. He's got good AoE burst damage if you want. If you want, if you like AoE. It's really fun to play actually. It's one of the classes that uh, has so many different roles in solo. A lot of people prefer Loremaster, Hunter, and Warden for solo. All classes can solo, don't get me wrong. Every class can solo. All the way to endgame. So that's not a problem. It's just what people like. Now, his weapon is a staff. As you get higher level, you can get a trait that lets you have a sword. So you'll have a sword and a staff. It's like dual wield. It looks really cool. It really does. Your armor is light. You got light armor. He's played by man and elf. So just man and elf. So. It's almost like a jack of all trades, in my opinion, anyway, because he can give you power, he can damage, he can tank a little bit with his pet, his tanking pet, he can heal, backup heal. There you go, crowd control, right? Big package. Okay, the minstrel is your nuke healer. Also, very good damage in, in solo play. Didn't used to be, they improved it. It's a very good healer. He's your main healer. Most people will play a minstrel for their for, to heal with. Runekeeper is also another choice. Okay, his weapons are a one-handed weapon. He can have a sword or club or whatever. He can also have a. He also gets a shield at level 20. It goes on your arm. It just ups your survivability a little bit. And some of them have good healing stats on them. Your armor is light. This class is played by man, dwarf, hobbit, and elf. So a lot of race choices for you. If you want a healer, he's a new healer, so he uses them like you would a regular caster would for your healing. But the damage for this healer is, unlike some of the other classes in other games, the minstrel uses immediate. You don't have to wait for inductions to damage stuff. The runekeeper is your H-O-T healer, if you don't know what that means. It means heals over time, so instead of a nuke healer like the minstrels, he's a hot healer. He's also got, like the minstrel, he's got very good damage for solo play. Some of his damage skills have inductions, but most of them don't. And he works off of an entombment bar, which like if he's damaging, uh, the bar has to fill up every time you do one of your little skills, so up, 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 up. The higher you have it, the more damage you can do, because the bigger skills you can use. Same with healing for the room keeper. He's got a bar, you fill it up, you do better heals. You can do some pretty good heals actually. He also has a, a pet that doesn't go anywhere. 
It's similar to a totem. You set it down, and anyone near it gets a little bit of heals. He cannot swap very fast rolls unless you have a scroll or something between uh, in groups. So if you want to sw switch from damage to healing in a group, it could take you a little bit of time to reset your tune and pull it down and go back up the other way. The Rune Keeper uses rune stones, so it's not like a two-handed or one-handed weapon, although it does show it in both hands. Shows it in both hands, but it's a single weapon. You don't have to get two of them. Runekeeper wears light armor, and it's played by the dwarf and the elf. The warden is your medium armor tank class. This guy, just like the runekeeper, works off of hots. This guy works off of tots, and that means threat over time. So. Everything happens over time, and it kind of gradually pulls, and the, room, the Warden can keep aggro on him pretty well. The Warden is also very good at AoE uh, threat over time, and it's very good if you want an adrenaline rushing class where you don't get instant threat, but you have to kind of go slower. It's really exciting, actually. He works off of gambits. You combine one skill to make another skill. One plus five equals two, etc., etc., He's got decent damage um, for soloing, but most of all, he's a very good solo tank. Uh, much like Guardian is mostly a group tank, Warden is a group tank, but Warden is also an amazing solo tank, which makes it, beside the Hunter and the Lore Master, the best solo, um, solo class in the game because he can solo almost anything. Weapons are a spear, a javelin, and a shield. Your Javelin allows you to do pretty good uh, range damage, kind of like the Hunter, except, well, not quite to that extent, but pretty good ranged damage. Your armor is medium. It's played by man, elf, and hobbit. Well, those are the classes of Lotril. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got questions about any of the classes, leave a comment. I'll answer them. Also, one other note. About armor wearing for heavy armor classes, that'd be the Captain, the Champion, and the Guardian. What you need to know is that they start out with medium gear, uh, armor, sorry, medium armor, and they don't get their heavy armor until a certain level. Uh, Guardian would be 15, and the other two would be level 20.